What's going on YouTube? This is Jenner back at you with another um, sealed only. Um, this is not week one. I know what you're thinking. We did open this uh, week one, but we need the extra fog blades and all that jazz. So um, this will be pretty quick. Um, I'll just kind of pull out the staples that we need and all that jazz. Um, Rusty is at three, so I might play two because super poly and uh, aerial is a thing, so I'll go ahead and just go right through them. Um, we, we did this week one, so I won't go too in depth with them. So we got the hero stuff. Um, I guess we got the rarity bump finale. What else? Um, I think we just needed some staples from this. Um, where are they? Uh, I guess we can play the second Dark Claw and maybe a third Mass Change. Just because it's not really searchable. I guess we can use Shadow Mist, but I don't think that's too consistent. Um, Going with the Nordic stuff. I think the Nordic stuff's the one that had all the staples in it. Um, I hate how they have these things to really get them open consistently. It didn't work properly. So Nordics, I'm not really. Dark Hole's fine. Um, other than that, I think they, this one has most of the staples that you need. So, like, the Forbidden Spells, a tree made MST. Um, yeah. So. We might actually have a side deck this week. It's kind of dumb how they have them in different spots for each of these. So, so we'll try a second Rusty. Oh, Twin Twisters is a must. Break Sword is a must. Um. We'll go ahead and play three of each of the Phantom Knights, um, Tug and Mucha Knight, Great Extender, um, I guess Jump Forward just to make the deck a little bit more consistent, um, I guess we have our third Dark Pull as well, second Fog Blade which is awesome, playing three Swords won't be bad, or three Wings. We'll cut down on some of the not so good Phantom Knight cards. You can play another set of Requiem and you know what? Um, I do not know about the rest. But uh, like I said, this is just week one all over again. It's just going to make my deck a little bit more consistent. These are kind of the cards that I was. Uh, gonna look for regardless um you know you, you need some of these extenders for Phantom Knights just because my deck isn't consistent right now and I'll work with that when I'm done with this so um we will go ahead and see you in the deck profile what's going on YouTube it's your boy Jenner I'm here with my deck profile after week three um let's see how uh, much better this deck got so, we'll start with the main deck. So now we finally got the three boots, three cloak, three glove, one stain greaves. Um, we're playing Phantom Knight, so we'll try to max out on um, as many as I can. So, there we go. So next we got a uh, Dark Warrior. Um, to kind of, you know, foolish these bad boys. Um, you know, they're just extenders at this point till we get better cards. 
a little bit more consistent combos, stuff in that nature. So we're playing the two Crocodile Doos again, it's standards. Really good card just to special summon, get a body on board. Uh, we got two hand traps, Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler does what it needs to do. It's imperm but worse, so, you know, still we're going to have a hard time outing that window. Two Kagemucha Knight, two Junk Forward. Um, they're there, they're extenders again. Um, this is extender.deck because, you know, Having the Phantom Knights is good, but you need at least two bodies on board to kind of get the combo going. Then we got the one Paro. Paro, 2000 Beat Stick. That's all it is there for. And then um, we got our Power 1 of. So we got a Foolish, Rota, Monster Reborn. Power 1 of. Uh, great in just about any deck. Great in every Warrior deck. Animus and Graveyard Reliant deck. So. There you go. So next we have MST. MST is a uh, good. We can change it during the st uh, standby phase. Uh, when they set a card, we can just pop it. If you go first, stuff like that. It's uh, pretty decent. Then we got our uh, window out. So Chalice. Chalice says gain attack, but you get negated, so that's great for me. Um, you got the two Twin Twisters, you know, back row hate. We're actually playing three Mass Change. Um, that Link we have is a hero, so it's not too hard to get into it. And Dark Blood is a pretty strong card. We got two Fog Blade now. We are still playing three Sword and one Shade. I think that moving forward, um, if I do get the third um, Fog Blade, I can for sure change that count. But for now, that's what we're working with. Uh, so, would it be Phantomites without the Rusty? And look, there's he, he got a twin now. So, playing two Rusty because he's at three. Um, we're just filling out the deck at this point. We got the Hito with the Paro, and we got the dark link too so next we're playing two break sword one dante two levier we're playing two requiem and or two rebellion i'm sorry and one requiem so um we're still gonna go for this route we're playing the requiem uh requiem at uh route for now until we get you know Ver and all that jazz, and you can take some of this out. Play the Chukun route a little bit more. Um, you still need cards like Appaloosa and stuff like that for that route, but we do what we can. We're playing two Dark Law. Um, Austin plays that uh, rocket that throws something out of my extra deck. You know, uh, we still play the One Dragoons. Uh, they don't know when I'm gonna buy the legendary uh, decks. Two, which does have all the pieces for Dragoon. So now I actually have a side deck. So we're playing three Dark Hole, two Hey True Need, the rest of the Forbidden Spells. They're there. I don't know how much I'll actually use them, but they're there. Um, next we have some, we have the Phantomite Trap. So if we're not seeing enough, we have these bad boys to kind of put into the deck. At the end of the day, I just wanted a 15 card side deck just for uh, to keep me sane, to be honest. But who knows how much we'll go into it. So wish me luck, guys.